निशांत यू कैन स्टार्ट विद योर इंट्रोडक्शन प्लीज ओके गुड इवनिंग मैम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू फॉर दिस ऑपरचुनिटी मैम फॉर ऑल मी टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ माय नेम इज निशांत पाठक एंड आई एम बोर्न एंड ब्रॉट अप इन भोपाल आई हैव ग्रेजुएटेड इन केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम माधव इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड साइंस ग्वालियर एंड राइट नाउ आई एम परफ्यूंग माई एमटेक इन केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग एट आई टी बॉम्बे टॉकिंग अबाउट माई अकेडमिक्स आई हैव कम्पलीटेड माई बी टेक प्रोजेक्ट ऑन द प्रोसेस ऑफ डार्क फॉर्मेंटेशन फॉर प्रोड्यूसिंग बायो हाइड्रोजन एंड आई एक्टिवली पार्टिसिपेट इन वेरियस को करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज Uh, I really like the auditing activity, so I actively participate in group discussion, extempore, GD, etc. And about my hobbies, so I uh, really like to play the team games like basketball, cricket. So that's all about myself, ma'am. Thank you. Okay, so you have uh, done your bachelor's in chemical, right? Chemical engineering. Yes, How do you yes, think all the skills that you have learned in your chemical engineering B Tech time will help you with this IOC? Surely, ma'am. Uh, surely, ma'am. It will be helping me. Uh, I think, ma'am, I have gained the technical background. Uh, uh, I would say that I have gained the particular gist, the idealized way of the things happening. Surely, ma'am, uh, when I will be working in a particular plant, things may be different. But I think uh, I can. Uh, I could say that I have the overview how the things work. Uh, so yes, ma'am. I would say that definitely I have a gist upon this. And surely, by the time passing, I know I'll be getting trained. So I think that will help me out uh, whenever I start to work in the industry. Okay. So you are currently pursuing M Tech, and you yes, are in which semester? Ma'am, uh, it's my first semester. Uh, right now, here, right. So why you are more inclined towards public sector? That is IOCL. If like you have taken admission in M Tech, right? So why you yes, are more inclined towards that public sector? Ma'am, um, uh, to be honest, I'm more inclined towards IOCL. Um, I have my reasons, ma'am. First of all, IOCL is a great place to work. It's a Maharashtra PSU and a prestigious and reputed organization. Along with it, ma'am, uh, my major goal when I was preparing for the gate was to enter into the PSC job, and particularly to avoid the IOCL. Uh, I'm quite, uh, I'm quite impressed by the IOCL's diversified culture, the variety of the projects which IOCL handles, and IOCL's continuous vision, ma'am, towards the sustainable energy solutions have always motivated me and inspired me. So that's why, ma'am, I want to work with IOCL. And if I talk about the PSU, ma'am, uh, uh, particularly IOCL, so as I mentioned, uh, the work environment here, the social responsibility which they carry out. Uh, they were something, ma'am, that have always personally aligned with me, and therefore uh, that's why I want to work with IOCL. So, like PSU, that is IOCL is a first priority, and your M Tech yeah. is like your second priority. Ma'am, I would, to be honest, if I say in clear words, so M Tech was, ma'am, definitely like my backup. Um, uh, till that, uh, till the time when I was choosing for my colleges, IOCL vacancies weren't out. Um, I didn't know when they will be coming. So that's why uh, I currently joined uh, my M Tech at IIT Bombay. But uh, if I talk about, I really want as my uh, career aspirations. I definitely want to now gain the professional expertise. Uh, I will be I'm forever grateful for the opportunity that M Tech could offer me in the near future. But uh, right now, I'm more glad towards gaining uh, the uh, uh, gaining the industrial expertise. Secondly, ma'am, even after if I complete my M Tech, uh, I know uh, I would be able to join as well. But I'm very glad that right now I have the opportunity to work with the organization. So I definitely want to make the most of it. Okay, so you told me like you have done a project also, right? Yes, ma'am. So yes, what ma was the project about? Uh, ma'am, my project was about the process of producing bio hydrogen from the naturally derived sources. So uh, basically, it was based upon the dark fermentation. Um, can I go more, ma'am, in uh, in this? What was your major role? Uh, ma'am, uh, it was my in-house project. Um, which I had to basically. Uh, re uh, carry out some of the research with the help of the research papers, and then I had to basically create a report about uh, uh, about the insights that I gained from it, and how. Uh, and also, ma'am, uh, the basic uh, uh, motivation of doing this project was, ma'am, uh, that initially uh, a year back, National Green Green Hydrogen Mission was launched with the investment of around twenty thousand crores. So one of the aim of that uh, mission was to produce bio hydrogen from the uh, the lignocellulosic biomass. So I thought, why not to study different deep because. As we know, ma'am, hydrogen can be a potential fuel for the future. So that was my major motivation. So as to study uh, this project and gain some insights about how hydrogen can be produced from the renewable sources. So what was the major challenge that you faced while your project? Like, is was there any challenge that you faced? <clears throat> ma'am, to be honest, I had to go through many of the research papers. And as you see, ma'am, uh, when I uh, when I had gone through various research papers, there are some of the technical terms that are being involved. 
and ma'am since it was a project uh, i couldn't gain the practical uh, expertise in that uh, uh, i wasn't able to see how it is naturally happening because i had to do the same with my own so i would say it would have been quite better if it, if i would have the opportunity to getting exposed towards how the hydrogen is being produced but rather i would say it was quite interesting process ma'am uh, so as to know about uh, the uh, fuel for the future potential future so i would say defi- uh, that uh, the journey was good yeah yeah ma'am uh, definitely i faced some of the challenges but i really enjoyed it to have to know about the alternative methods of producing uh, hydrogen from the renewable sources okay so currently you are a student okay yes, ma'am. you are completely shifting to a sector where you will be sure. working with different professionals working professionals well qualified professionals so yeah. how you think you will adapt yourself to that environment because at present our environment is very different yeah when you will be joining ilcl if like like by god's grace if you will be joining ilcl so what will be like your strategy how you will ad- adapt yourself in that environment um okay ma'am So, ma'am, to answer this, first of all, ma'am, I believe that the enthusiasm and the passion that I have for this organization will help me to strive forward throughout my journey. Secondly, ma'am, uh, I think you are trying to say that I'm a fresher, ma'am, right? Um, right, ma'am. You are a fresher. See, being a fresher is a different thing. But just okay. I'm asking is currently you are in a very different environment. You are you are yeah. studying with students, okay? Yes, ma'am. And you will be shifting towards a sector where you will okay. be working. highly professional people so okay, like yeah. okay there might be clashes as well there might be some points where you like need to keep yourself very much adapted to that environment so what will be your strategies how you will be perform like adapted to that environment so ma'am um, okay ma'am so as i said ma'am first of all the amount of passion and the enthusiasm i hold for this organization i think that will be one of the major factors secondly ma'am uh, i am quite young and uh, i would say that i am a fresh of so i think the every opportunity that i'll be able to get in as well i will take the same as a learning opportunity because ma'am being a fresher i think i will be it will be uh, very easier for me to adapt or adjust to any of the particular situation to the any of the job that will be assigned to me so i'll be taking the same as a learning opportunity secondly ma'am i think it will be a matter of great pride for me because i'll be able to work with the highly skilled professionals i think i would be able to uh, uh, learn from their insights i would be able to learn from the experiences that that they would be having and sharing with me So I think, ma'am, it's a great, great opportunity for me because I'll be able to simultaneously work with the some of the greatest professionals out there. And more importantly, I'll be gaining the insights that will be helping me in the near future when I, uh, while I'll be working with ourselves. So I will take this as a learning opportunity, ma'am, and yeah, definitely I would uh, try to make the most of the uh, working with the uh, uh, well-experienced seniors out there. Okay, so like Nishan, why? public sector and not private sector why you are entering into public sector what is the major reason behind entering this public sector um so ma'am um, <clears throat> ma'am when i started preparing for gate my major aim was to enter into the psc job and particularly to have self uh, i think ma'am i definitely ma'am we all know right from mahasna psc and psc are the best employers in the country and why psc ma'am first of all the major even if the ma'am the variety of the project that uh, psc handles uh, uh, the uh, any of the projects that are related to our uh, uh, nation I think the PSU are the first one who has to carry out the some of the important operations. Secondly, ma'am, in the private, I believe, ma'am, there is always a fear of job, there is a pressure of job, and uh, in public sector, uh, there will be pressure of work, ma'am. Pressure of work and pressure of job are highly different. There, uh, I'll be, I will be able to cope up with the pressure of job because some days definitely uh, work will workload will be high on me, but I will, I won't be having that. I'll be, I'll be losing my job. But in the private sector, uh, when So this is something that will be constantly going in my head that I will be having to lose the job if I am able to not complete my targets. So I think uh, PSUs allow me better flexibility to enhance my skills and to showcase my skills without giving me the fear that okay I'll be losing my job. Rather, ma'am, definitely I believe there will be pressure of work on me, and I think that's good for me because when I'll be having that particular pressure, I think it will be giving the best out of me. So that's why PSU because the variety of the project that PSU will be handling. Secondly, ma'am, uh, it is well known. I am well aware about the financial aspects and the perks that. PSU offer you, so that's why, ma'am. Uh, I want to work with the PSU. Okay, so Nishan, like now it's the time for the feedback. Okay, okay so you have a very good confidence. Let me say that. Okay, like you are answering the questions very confidently, and you are presenting yourself very confidently. Make sure when you are describing your skills. Okay, okay. when especially you are describing your skills. describe it in a more elaborative manner that how your 
skills are interlinked to that IOCL is required for. Okay. okay, like in journal, you have very good skills, but make sure that you just link that skills with what interviewer is like see, wants to see in you. Okay. okay, because being an interviewer, I'm just like from that IOCL background or IOCL mindset, I'm looking in for a different skill. Okay. okay, maybe the skills are same, but I'm looking for a different or a like a different type of answer, right? You might be yeah. understanding what I am saying. Okay, I'm a HR. Okay, yeah. So I'll be describing myself like as a HR with that skills that might be or might not be understandable by you, but I know how I have to explain myself, right? Okay, so basically the only thing that you have to keep in your mind is you have to explain your skills in a manner so that the interviewer gets to know about how you will like how you will present yourself when you will be inducted for that IOCL. Okay. okay. So the only thing is you have to just keep a little bit uh, like promptness of your skills. Okay. How you can use it in that IOCL interview. Okay. And otherwise everything is good. Okay. Like Keep brushing up yourself with the latest trends, okay, for IOCL and rest, everything will be asked to you in the other rounds, okay? Yes, uh, ma anything from uh, ma Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, can you be, can you please tell me that particular point where you were highlighting, ma'am, that skills part? I want to okay. know that. I asked you regarding the project, the project that you did. Okay. Yes, so I asked you what all skills you learned in that project that will help you in okay. IOCL. I didn't find a link. Okay. I didn't find a, like, proper skills like you didn't tell me about okay i have a good uh coordinating skills i have a good problem solving skills i have good team like leadership skills like all these things that this is something that interviewer wants to listen from you because okay. i was a very huge platform there sure. will be different professionals so you should have some soft skills in yourself okay yeah. that will help you there as well make okay. sure you keep that points in mind okay Everything related to your academics, your theoretic, uh, the, like theoretical part is different. But it's your soft skills that will help you present yourself. Okay, at the okay. end of the day, your academics is important, but your soft skills is also important. Okay, make sure you prioritize that as well. Okay. okay One last question, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, ma'am, um, actually, I had earlier given the EL interview also. Um, some months back. So, ma'am, okay. will that question pop up there? Can they ask me this? Yeah, they can ask you. Means they can just ask you these points, like whether you have given any public sector interview before also. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if yes, so it was why you didn't clear that? What was the reason or something like that? So there's nothing to fear for that. Okay. In the next round, uh, next HR snap that we'll be giving, we'll be just taking these questions. Only for that. Okay, ma'am. Like, so, ma'am... Um... Uh, as I keep mentioning that, particularly IFL, particularly IFL only, right, ma'am? When I was telling you I want to work with IFL, so yeah. can they counter question me that you are inclined towards working with IFL? Then why go for EIL or something? Will so this... that is something. Yeah, that, that is something which I am telling you is you are never uh, like inclined towards a particular thing from starting. Okay. Yes, Sometimes with time, with opportunities, you get to explore different fields as well. Okay. So that's completely your choice. Okay. And giving answer to these questions will be only there if you are very, but like if you lose your confidence at that point of time. Okay. Yeah. If you're very confidently saying, like I'm saying very confidently that yes, I want to get inducted in IOC. That means I might have something in my heart and mind, right? With my heart, mind, soul, I want to give everything for IOCL. And before this, if you have given a public sector interview, thousands of students give a lot of public sector interviews. That doesn't mean that you'll crack or you'll not crack. It's everything depends, like it depends upon your experience also. Okay, Nishant, let me be very clear. If you are giving different interviews with different interviews only, you'll get to know how you have to perform. Okay, so maybe the interview that you have given earlier, that was not something you really want. But yeah, at that point of time, you took an opportunity of giving that and that's something. Now you have opportunity of IOCL. So yeah, yeah, I'll definitely say by God's grace, it will definitely come in your pocket. But yeah, you should be very much confident. You brush up a little bit and you can put HR in a little snap. So the yeah. questions that have been left, they will cover it. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.